All right, boys, waiver wire Wednesday is here and gone. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to look over the players that deserve to be on the panic button list. We go over the list, we assess it, and we apply it to our fantasy teams. We had a couple good uh, discussions Sunday in the live streams. We were able to get some guys on the panic button list, take some guys off, take a shot with them like DJ Moore and Fields, and things worked out. So let's get going. First guy that should be on your panic button list that you should even think about dropping, it doesn't look like he's going to be anything compared to how he used to be, is Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook is the number 54th ranked running back right now, according to uh, the Sleeper Zap. Uh, his points in fantasy, 8, 0, 5, and 2. And he's got 74 yards on the year, and they just took Brees Hall off the pitch count. So Dalvin Cook, super fantasy panic button, and probably get rid of him. Now another guy who really bothers me is a guy who's trending down every single week in every stat. Tyler Algier, a guy who I really liked in the summertime, but he's trending down. He had 24 the first week, then 4, 4, and 2. He had 75 yards rushing, then 48, 12, 16. Now this is the most important thing about Algier. 56% of the snap share with him and B. John. He played half the game, game one. Then he went 44%, then 30, now 26. With the emergence of B. John Robinson, it doesn't look good the way things are trending for Algier. So as far as putting him in your flex, you're better off with a guy like Michael Gallup, the, anybody out there that, that's showing a little bit more signs of something good. Um, DeAndre Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins is, is a super receiver. I'm sure if you have DeAndre Hopkins, you're not happy with 13, 8, 7, and 10. He's holding serve, 7 for 65, 4 catches for 40, 3 for 48, 4 for 63. Touchdowns, 0, 0, 0, and 0, and he dropped one. He dropped one in the end zone. He's the 47th ranked receiver right now. That's not DeAndre Hopkins. So he's on the panic button list. you got to watch for him. Then we got two tight ends. We got Kyle Pitts. This guy is a bust. I drafted him last year. When he came out of college, they were saying, GOAT, GOAT tight end. He's going to be better than Gronk and Kelsey and this. Here's Kyle Pitts, 6, 3, 8, and 4. Two catches for 44 yards, two catches for 15 yards, 5 for 41, 2 for 21. On the season, 121 yards receiving on the season. He had a bad year last year. They're having problems. This kid seems to be a bust. Go get another tight end. Kyle Pitts is not the guy anymore. Reassess Kyle Pitts. Get rid of him. Another tight end, Darren Waller. Here's his fantasy points. How is Darren Waller still ranked as the number 12 on sleepers? Six points, 13, 5, and 5. Here's his games. Three catches for 36. Six for 76 is one good game. Three for 20, three for 21. Touchdowns, 0, 0, 0, and 0. And he's the 12th best tight end in football. I picked up Laporta, and I'm starting Laporta till I see something different because you can't get stuck on names. It's not 2019. It's just not. So be careful with Waller. Um, another guy, super name recognition, T. Higgins. T. Higgins, 0, 28, 4, and 3. Those are his four games. Here, catches and yards, 0 for 0, 8 for 89 for two tutties, the one good game. Back to 2 for 21, 0, 2 for 19, 0. Now he's a little hurt. That's the model of inconsistency. We know T. Higgins could tear it up, but to be inconsistent like that, you might want to start looking for an Adam Thielen, an old vet that's going to come in and give you 14 automatic for breakfast. Uh, here's a guy, the one list, the one guy on my list, don't hit the panic butt on him. Jameer, Jameer Gibbs, 8, 12, 9, and 9. Those are his four games. Rushing, 7 for 42. 7 for 17, 17 for 80, 8 for 40. Receptions, 2, 7, 1, and 4. He's ranked number 26. He's got 13 catches on the season, but it's just a matter of time. He's such a tremendous player. You could put him in your flex. He's going to receive. He's going to run. You'll always be fine with Jameer Gibbs, so don't panic on him yet. Joe Burrow, you might want to panic. Things don't look too good for him. He's got two touchdown passes and two interceptions on the season. Points, 3, 16, 9, and 4. Passing yards, 82, 222, 259, 165. So he's got two out of the four games under 170 passing yards. That doesn't seem like Joe Burrow. So be careful. Don't just automatically start Joe Burrow. I'm so happy I, I recommend it for somebody to not start him. Start Cousins instead last week, and that worked out. We had a lot of 
things that worked out in the live stream Sunday. Um, also, here's a big one, guys. Romandre Stevenson. Listen to these yard attempts and yards over the first four games. 12 for 25, 15 for 50, 19 for 59, and 14 for 60. That's And he's only got 12 catches for 84 yards. Yards per carry, first four games, 2, 3, 3, and 2. For a guy that was coming on as a beast that a lot of us drafted, Ramondre Stevenson needs to be on the panic button list. Be careful with him. Another one, Miles Sanders. Guys, it's not Toto. We're not in Kansas anymore. He's not running behind Philadelphia's offensive line. He's going to have pedestrian, mediocre days. He's got 160 yards, 11, 7, 17, and 6 are his fantasy numbers. He's got 15 catches for 80 yards. He's ranked 24, but his ceiling is very low. Don't expect a guy to carry you to a Super Bowl in Miles Sanders. That's just my opinion. And then George Pickens, another guy out of Georgia, was supposed to be a guy that could wreck the league. 5 for 36, 4 for 127 and a touchdown because he caught that 80-yard slant the one game. Then 4 for 75, pretty good. Then 3 for 25. So here we go, George Pickens. Four games, two good ones, two very small ones. One touchdown on the season. George Pickens is ranked 36th in the league. Part of it is because Pittsburgh can't get it together and they look terrible. And it's, it's not coming together. So Pickens, he's not a top receiver right now. You have to keep looking. The Michael Gallup had 150 yards in the last two games. Get led second in targets last week. So there's you. You have to be active on the waiver wire and understand that everything's fluid. The goalposts change. But uh, those are the top 10 guys on the panic button. And remember, don't panic on Jameer Gibbs. But the other guys, keep an eye on them because that's what we're here for. Panic button players.